Yo, what's poppy gamers? Welcome back to a brand new bad business video. And it's been a while since I've said that. Nearing four months. But I'm back and bad business is so back. We have so much content to cover here, and I would just like to start this off by saying that some of this is still work in progress, so anything that you see in my video today may change before this update that's supposed to drop on the 30th. I would go over in detail of all the dates when everything is supposed to release, but this update was originally supposed to release today as you guys are watching this video, but they did have to delay it by a few days because there is literally so much content in this update. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it's delayed till the 30th, so that means all the the other dates that we had on the previous leaked image that we had most likely are also delayed by a couple days it just makes more sense that way i don't want to speak for the devs but more than likely those are also delayed by a couple days but we're going to go through everything for you guys right now all righty to start this video off we're going to start by clicking the progression tab because that's what this whole update's about let's be honest there are some cool outfits coming and all that and i'll show you guys that too but anyways as you can see it says i'm prestige zero and also level zero obviously we're not all being deranked when this update releases i'm just in a test environment that allows me to look at all the new upcoming updates that's going to be releasing on the 30th so just want to give that heads up we're all going to be you know our current levels minus the prestiging so for example for someone like me that's prestige 5 level 60 i believe we're going to be level 300 330 or 360 it's one of those three it's in the 300s so if you guys are max level like myself you're going to be in the 300 level but for starters as you can see when we click that tab we have career levels contract contract uh, active and also swap contracts as well as xp boosters for starters we're going to go in the career levels so you guys can kind of see how that works as you can see for level one through 10 you actually get a weapon per level but when you go to the next page you're going to start seeing a skip in levels and that's going to start progressing more and more as you go through all these levels and if you guys want to pause and look to see what level you may unlock certain things at you guys can do that but i'm going to kind of go through this kind of quickly but we're getting up to here where it's like you have to be level 28 to get this weapon and then you have to level up two more times to get the next weapon and it starts progressing like that and i think it gets even crazier uh, besides two levels going forward unless i'm mistaken nope it switches to three levels per unlock now and i'm starting to see a trend here so it's progressively going to increase uh, how many levels per weapon uh, that you unlock throughout this pass and this goes all the way to 120 and the last unlock here is actually the acr aka the mod u and going forward we're most likely going to have a new weapon whenever we get another one in the career levels it's going to be at 123 maybe unless they start going by five now so it'll be 125 130 and so on so we'll see how they end up going from here because it has been scaling it's now at every three levels when it first started it was only at every level it progressed to two then three so we'll see how they decide to go about that when we finally start getting more weapons in the career area and then moving over to contracts let's actually go in here and see the contracts available so we have contract zero one two three and four I don't know which one is the new one. Um, obviously, the UMP is not a new weapon. This is the new one right here. All right. First, let's go through. Let's explain the contract in this one. Um, so as you can see, if you guys have been playing this game for a long time, you can see a lot of the prestige items are within this contract. That's because if you start imagining contracts as prestiges, that's kind of what they are in a way, but you progress these way faster than you would a prestige, uh, I'm pretty sure. And this gives you a chance to unlock weapons earlier than you would uh, beforehand. So for example, in this first contract, if you really wanted the UMP, you would select this contract, level it up one time, and you unlock this at level one. Obviously that was already a low level weapon in the previous version of the game, but same for the, like the DSR. Instead of having to be, you know, a certain prestige and a certain level to get the DSR, you can activate this, max it out to level 50 and get the P BAM, AKA the DSR. So kind of imagine contracts as prestiges that you can progress a little bit quicker uh, to unlock weapons sooner. That's kind of how it works, which is pretty cool. So that means every single time we get a new contract, we actually get new weapons, new characters, new cosmetics, and new equipment. It, it goes on. We get a lot of stuff per contract, which is awesome. All right, so let's look through this contract. For level one in the brand new contract, when the update releases, we are going to be getting the new SF-70 weapon. We are also going to get a new character. I can't rotate the character, unfortunately, but this is what you see here. It's like a Rambo-inspired outfit, it looks, but also different. I don't know. It looks cool. I like this. I I'm definitely going to use some of these pieces of clothing for other 
outfits. And then we have a barcode sticker, which says nothing. That's pretty cool. We have another feather, um, hawk feathers charm. We have a missing texture. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We have a banner. This looks nice. We have oh love sticker. We have a new pose of the squats. We have a samak samuku S sumoko i try my best all right my bad this looks pretty cool it's like a penguin but east what are these ears anyways we get the brand new tomahawk which is cool we get a hay sticker a new uh hammer pose which is like holding the revolver pulling back the hammer that's pretty cool we get a new blue hair uh chill hair blurple skin <laughs> <laughs> nice love to see it brown leather gloves we get a watermelon charm i'm definitely going to be using that we did a clown sticker definitely going to be using that Ooh, this is fire this is actually sick i really like this i'm probably going to be using this i might finally change my noob border that's sick and then in tier 20 we have nothing tier 21 we have a cone shell tier 22 we have a red mullet a sad cat sticker the dude profile uh picture the wild card to be determined oh cool so whenever wild cards are introduced which i think are supposed to be like perks or something like that they're gonna be some sort of trait it's gotta be that's the only thing that makes sense with the wild card i don't know why else we would have a wild card in the game you're gonna get them throughout the contracts i wonder if we're also gonna have some default ones that we could just equip um, but we didn't see any in the career levels so we'll see we got the surgeon character outfit it's like a like a fancy like suit guy but i don't know i guess he's a surgeon we get the batter pose that's sick we get the sand dollar the blonde chill hair nothing at the 30 item which i think are weapons by the way at the at these 10 level marks we got a shell charm some purple racing gloves thank you we needed some purple gloves oh this is pretty cool pixel business sticker um oh another nice pair of carbon fiber gloves we have the summer flower skin that's the one everyone voted on we have the super sick street shinobi skin uh this is fire and this is the one with the tattoos on it unfortunately it looks like we still have the sleeve here with a tattoo i would like to see it on the skin but i don't know if we can or not wait that actually might be oh they're using like the default bad business with the gray and yellow okay that makes more sense i think they yeah, have hand sign sanitizer charm <laughs> We have the diver uh, profile picture. We have the blonde undercut ponytail. And then at 40, obviously that's supposed to be a weapon, but it's not in yet. At 41, we have a troll business sticker. Oh, this is awkward. I just made one of these for my game. <laughs> Anyways, we have a toilet paper charm. Um, that's a little awkward. <laughs> we have bad business profile item. This is pretty cool. Uh, we have a Tokomon. It's like a squid something. We have a troll cut out of a, a troll face. We have the new melee, the tack shovel. We have the awesome. I think everyone's going to be using this. All the tryhards are going to be using this one because this is like a, a baby cradle with a baby or someone crying like a baby reaching for the insta heal. <laughs> I think it's great. Uh, we have the digital embers. We have the other sick new operator, which is the street demon outfit. And I do hope we get other color variations of this jacket or just this character in general. I would love to see an all white and black one, a red and white or a red and black one. I, I would love to see a red and black one. I want that. I would pay Robux for that not even joking anyways that is the new contract that's coming to the game obviously those empty spots on the contract are going to be the new weapons that are releasing um over the next month uh month and a half i think it is so obviously when this contract drops i don't think we're getting all those weapons right off rip unfortunately but we are getting the sf70 as soon as the game launches and you could pick that contract leveled up and unlock the weapon all right let's take a look at the new sf70 i was the one that worked on this and i will tell you right now this is definitely a weird one um a lot of people are not going to be happy with the irons but you can switch between the two irons which the second one also in my opinion isn't that great <laughs> so um it's just accurate to the weapon all right i apologize i don't know what you want me to do but that's just how the weapon was it looks like we don't have any of the attachments in yet well uh, I'm sure you guys will see some leaked images of what the attachments look like soon. Um, I don't know when, but soon. But we could check the gun out in game. Yeah, people are going to be mad at me. That's for sure. What's my keybind to switch sights? I don't think it's actually able to switch sights yet, but it, when it releases, obviously you'll be able to. Um, the top sights are definitely better than this one. 
you can't really see anything but we do have the reload and the sound in it is using g3 stats so this might not be the recoil or maybe it will be but i do think this could potentially be a pretty cool weapon even besides the irons you're definitely going to put an optic on if we're able to you should be able to hopefully we'll see but yeah this weapon is pretty sick anyways that is everything coming in the brand new bad business update uh gonna be releasing on the 30th so make sure you guys mark it on your calendar if i'm able to i will be streaming but i can't give you any guarantees there looks like the 30th is a tuesday so i probably can't stream but i'm gonna try to get a video up if i'm able anyways thank you guys so much for the support i really do appreciate you i'll see you guys in the next video peace out